two months before his murder and rape charges were dropped. Fabian Gonzalez was on the phone with his mother, saying what he's been saying for two years. He maintains he did not rape and kill Victoria Martins. They said she was drugged, they said she was raped, and all that. none of that was ever even happened. Investigators say much of the case against Gonzalez was based on statements his then-girlfriend, Michelle Martins, made to police hours after her daughter's murder, that Victoria was given meth, raped, killed, then dismembered. But Victoria's autopsy showed there were no drugs in her system. It did show Victoria had been sexually assaulted and the 10 year old little girl had a sexually transmitted disease, but it was not linked to Gonzalez. Taylor TV now that they listen to everything. Listen, he doesn't have that disease. Prosecutors dropped the murder and rape charge just a few months before he was supposed to go on trial, saying cell phone records showed he was not at the crime scene at the time of Victoria's death. But Fabian Gonzalez is still in a lot of legal trouble. He is still charged with child abuse resulting in death and tampering with evidence. Charges that include claims Gonzalez helped remove Victoria's arms. As his trial date nears, his mother cautions him, keep quiet. Just don't be friends with anybody said. You don't know what their intentions are. Yeah, to try to hurt me or something, you mean? Gonzalez's mother tells him she knows more about the case but can't talk about it on the phone. They just can't say nothing over. Yeah, there's, there's mm -hmm. stuff I know there's a lot of things you haven't told me neither, and it's not like they're bad things. It's just things that just no one needs to know about. So. <laughs> Gonzalez is scheduled to go on trial in October. The state just filed more court documents in this case, but these are sealed, saying if what's in them becomes public, it could jeopardize their case. For Target 7, I'm Nancy Laughlin.